Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review. I wouldn't show you, but I haven't got the actual film itself. But it is a film called The Expendables 3. Now, Expendables 3, obviously it is the third in the film franchise. It's a film that was released in 2014, so it is a pretty new film. You've got a majority of the cast coming back who uh, reprised roles in the two previous films. You've got Sylvester Stallone as Barney Ross, Jason Statham as Lee Christmas. You've got Jet Li, Arnold Schwarzenegger as well. He reprises his role as Trench. Uh, new to the film, you've got Antonio Banderas as Glago. Harrison Ford as Drummer. Mel Gibson as Stonebanks. Wesley Snipes is new as well as a role called Doc. Dolph Lundgren as uh, Gunnar Jensen. Randy Couture as Toll Road. Terry Crews as Caesar. However, he's not in the film very long. Not much of a spoiler, but you know, don't set your hopes on seeing him very long in the film. Kelsey Grammer's new and uh, he plays a guy called Bonaparte. Glenn Powell, he's new, he's part of the Young Blood Expendables called Thorn. Victor Ortiz as Mars. Ronda Rousey as Luna. And Kellen Lutz called Smiler. So, like I've mentioned, it is Expendables 3. If you know anything about the Expendables, then you know that it's big names like Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis. However, he's not in Expendables 3 because he was a bit greedy and wanted too much money. But then you know that it's big names, big stars, and it's big explosions, one-liners, looks of explosions, gunfights, things like that. And in Expendables 3 is nothing new. Um, you start out with Sylvester Stallone and his crew, um, trying to get Doc, Wesley Snipes, um, off a moving train. It then shimmies along and uh, we then discover that there is a twist in the plot and that the new bad guy is Mel Gibson. There is a twist and I don't want to tell you what it is um, as to reason why uh, Sylvester Stallone and the rest of the Expendables are hunting down Stonebanks, Mel Gibson's character. But then Terry Crews, Hail Caesar as he's called in the film, uh, gets fatally injured and is written out of the film. Uh, this is where Sylvester Stallone thinks, right, that's it. No more of the original cast. I'm going for new blood. And this is where he gets Ronda Rousey, Lutz Fella uh, from Twilight. Then he's got two MA fighters, uh, Ronda Rousey, who I've just mentioned, and uh, Ortiz. And then there's uh, Glenn Powell as well. So he gets them new blood together with the help of Kelsey Grammer. He's also got Antonio Banderas. He's a bit of a funny character through it. He's, uh, I don't know, he's, he's just the witty one-liner. There's the funny ones. So he's funny and cool to watch. Um, but it is focused around Sylvester Stallone taking the new blood and trying to hunt down uh, Stonebanks, Mel Gibson's character. Um, some of the original Expendables do not like this. Um, so there is a bit of a butting heads confliction between um, Stallone and uh, Lee Christmas also with the rest of the original Expendables with the new blood but really it's not a bad film if you've got to take it light heartedly because majority of the people knocking around in the film are in the 60s and 70s you know Stallone, uh, Schwarzenegger, Harrison Ford he's in it as well he's, uh, he's like a government agent uh, Jet Li, he's no young spring chicken anymore. Couture, he's an old guy. You know, Terry Crews, he must be knocking around a bit. Uh, Banderas, Mel Gibson, you know, they're all old sorts of characters. It's like one big last hurrah. You know, it's a uh, big hurrah. Let's blow up a load of things and make a shitload of money on, you know, massive over the top films. And that's what The Expendables is. However, it's fun and light hearted and wittiness, and it's got one liners, explosions, and big box office names. So you can't really go wrong in that factor. So if you are a fan of any of the names that I have mentioned and you've seen any of the previous Expendables and Expendables 2 films then Expendables 3 is definitely one for you. Also guys, we the devoted links down below as per usual go check them out. Use TobyWTD gets you 20% off in we the devoted items you decide to buy. Links down below as per usual. However, thanks for watching my review of uh, the Expendables 3. Thanks for watching.